Urticaria, it's a cutaneous reaction pattern consisting of transient dermal swellings in the form of wheels or angioedema. Classification of urticaria. Acute urticaria. It's characterized by episodes lasting less than six weeks. Causes and precipitating clinical factors include infections such as hepatitis B, infectious mononucleosis, candidiasis, and parasitic infections can trigger this condition. Drugs including penicillin, opiates, aspirin, other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and radiocontrast dye have been linked to the development of acute urticaria. Food items. Consumption of allergenic foods like fish, nuts, eggs, strawberries, milk, cheese, preservatives, and coloring agents can contribute to acute urticaria. Idiopathic origin. Chronic urticaria. It's characterized by the persistence of symptoms for more than six weeks with causative factors either known or unknown. It's of two types, chronic spontaneous urticaria and chronic idiopathic urticaria. Chronic spontaneous urticaria. It may be associated with underlying conditions such as thyroid disorders, collagen vascular disease, and malignant diseases like lymphoma or leukemia. Chronic idiopathic urticaria encompasses various subtypes. Physical urticaria subtypes. Cold urticaria, triggered by exposure to cold temperature. Dermocrevism, formation of linear wheels secondary to firm stroking of the skin. Delayed pressure urticaria, development of urticaria three to six hours after the pressure, commonly seen over buttocks and feet. Heat urticaria, elicited by exposure to hot temperature. Vibratory angioedema, secondary to vibratory stimulus. Solar urticaria, wheels appear on photoexposed areas and gets aggravated upon sun exposure. Cholinergic urticaria, small pinpoint itchy wheels observed due to sweating, such as after strenuous work, exercise, a hot shower, walking in the sun, eating hot spicy food, etc. Contact urticaria, caused by biological or chemical skin contact. Aquagenic urticaria, seen after contact with water. Pathogenesis of urticaria, mass cell-dependent urticarias. The key process in wheel development and urticaria involves histamine release from mast cells, either through immunologic or non-immunologic mediated degranulation. Immunologic, immunoglobulin E mediated. A trigger antigen attaches to the immunoglobulin E antibody on the surface of the mast cells in the dermis, which binds to the FCERI receptor on the mast cell surface. This provokes the release of histamine from mast cells, leading to itching and increased capillary permeability manifesting as wheels. Non-immunologic Drugs or chemicals directly cause the degranulation of mast cells producing urticaria. Mast cell independent urticarias In this realm, triggers extend beyond mast cells and can be immunologic or non-immunologic. Immunologic Urticaria triggered by immunologic responses involving complement and kinin systems. Non-immunologic. Examples include contact urticaria and urticaria induced by angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors. Clinical features. Wheels the hallmark lesions, exhibit distinct characteristics. Intensely pruritic, well-defined and reddish in appearance typically transient, evanescent, swellings, and usually subside in 24 hours. Distinguishing urticaria from other skin lesions. Acute urticaria. Drug reaction. Immunoglobulin E mediated or metabolic idiosyncratic can trigger urticaria. Food reactions. Various allergenic foods may contribute to the eruption of urticaria. Intravenous administration. Urticaria can be provoked by blood products, contrast agents, or intravenous gamma globulin. Infection. Viral or bacterial infections in children, infectious mononucleosis, and hepatitis B infection can incite urticarial reactions. Physical urticaria.
individual lesions lasting less than two hours, cold urticaria, cholinergic urticaria, dermatographism, cold-induced cholinergic urticaria, cold-dependent dermatographism, aquagenic urticaria, local heat urticaria. Lesions lasting more than two hours, delayed pressure urticaria, vibratory angioedema. Chronic urticaria. Autoimmune, often intertwined with antithyroid antibodies. Urticarial vasculitis. Bullous pemphigoid. Urticarial drug eruptions, associated with other connective tissue diseases. Schnitzler syndrome. Note, urticarial vasculitis, bullous pemphigoid, urticarial drug eruptions usually persist beyond 24 hours. In urticarial vasculitis, it is associated with pain and burning sensation and heals with hyperpigmentation. Drugs used in the treatment of urticaria. Antihistamines. First generation H1 antihistamines. Second generation H1 antihistamines. Others. Leukotriene receptor antagonist. H2 antihistamines. Corticosteroids. Omalizumab, cyclosporin, methotrexate. Antihistamines, mechanism of action. H1 antihistamines suppress the actions of histamine, such as itching, number, size, and duration of wheels. These are H1 inverse agonists that possess anti-inflammatory actions which are independent of their actions on the H1 receptor. First generation H1 antihistamines. Athanolamines. Diphenhydramine, phenothiazines, promethazine, alkalamines, chlorpheniramine, piperazines, hydroxazine, diphenhydramine. Dose 25 to 50 milligrams for every 6 to 8 hours. It has significant hepatic metabolism, minimal renal excretion. Pregnancy category is B. Promethazine. Dose. 4 to 8 milligrams for every 8 to 12 hours. It has significant hepatic metabolism, mainly renal excretion. Pregnancy category is C. Chlorpheniramine. Dose 4 to 8 milligrams twice daily. The primary site of metabolism is in the liver. Mainly renal excretion. Pregnancy category is B. Hydroxazine. Dose 12.5 to 25 milligrams for every 6 to 8 hours. The primary site of metabolism is the liver. Approximately 70% is renal excretion. Pregnancy category is C. Adverse effects. Central nervous system includes negative impact on cognition and psychomotor functions, sedation, and increased appetite. Gastrointestinal effects are nausea, vomiting, epigastric discomfort, dry mouth, and constipation. Cardiac effects include tachycardia and prolongation of QT interval. Genital urinary effects are urinary retention and erectile dysfunction. Second or third generation H1 antihistamines. These are the drugs of choice in the treatment of urticaria. Commonly used drugs are cetirizine, dose 10 mg per day. It's an active metabolite. About 70% is renal excretion. Pregnancy category is B. Levocetirazine. Dose, 5 mg. It is an active metabolite of cetirazine. Excretion, mainly renal. Pregnancy category is B. Lorotidine. Dose, 10 mg per day. It's converted into an active metabolite of deslorotidine. It has very minimal renal excretion. Pregnancy category is B. Desloratidine. Dose, 5 mg per day. It shows no interaction with cytochrome P450 enzymes. Very minimal renal excretion. Pregnancy category is C. Fexofenidine. Dose, 180 mg per day. Terfenidine is the prodrug. Excretion is largely in feces. Pregnancy category is C. Philistine. Dose, 20 to 40 milligrams per day. It does not undergo any significant hepatic metabolism. 
It's primarily excreted intact about 67% in feces and 33% in urine. H2 antihistamines. Ranitidine. Dose 150 mg twice daily. Side effects include mental confusion and arrhythmias. Pregnancy category is B. Cimetidine. Dose 400 mg twice daily. Side effects are mental confusion, galacteria, loss of libido, impotence, and gynecomastia. Pregnancy category is B. Leukotriene receptor antagonist. Montelicast, administered at 10 mg once daily. Zephyrlicast, administered at 20 mg twice daily. Adverse effects include gastrointestinal disturbances, thirst and dry mouth, fever, arthralgia, sleep disorders, urticaria, and angioedema. Corticosteroids, mechanism of action. Corticosteroids decrease inflammation through suppression of the migration of polymorphonuclear leukocytes and inhibition of transcription factors. Indications Severe acute urticaria, urticarial vasculitis, acute episodes of chronic urticaria. Other drugs These drugs are used when chronic urticaria is not controlled with conventional antihistamines. Cyclosporin Mechanism of action. Cyclosporin inhibits cytokines that are involved in T cell activation. They also inhibit the transcription of interleukin-2. Dose, 3 to 5 mg per kilogram body weight. Adverse effects include nausea, abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, headache, paresthesia, renal dysfunction, hypertension, and electrolyte imbalance. Methotrexate. Mechanism of action. Anti-proliferative pathway, folate-dependent, inhibits cell division, S phase, and anti-inflammatory action due to increase in adenosine. Dose, administered at 7.5 to 15 mg once a week. Adverse effects may include nausea, vomiting, elevated transaminases, hepatic fibrosis, anemia, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, oral ulcerations, and skin ulceration. Omalizumab. It's a humanized monoclonal antibody against immunoglobulin E used in chronic urticaria that is not controlled with H1 antihistamines and leukotriene receptor antagonist. Dose. The recommended dose is 300 mg monthly administered subcutaneously every month. Dermocrivism. Presents with rapid appearance of a linear wheel accompanied by a flare when the skin is stroked with a blunt object. It's observed in 5% of normal people. Types of dermocrivism. Delayed dermocrivism. Manifests with a delay of 3 to 6 hours in the appearance of wheels compared to classic dermographic wheel. These wheels persist longer 24 to 48 hours compared to 30 minutes of classic dermocrivism wheel. Cholinergic dermocrivism. The lesions in this type resemble multiple small urticarial papules associated with cholinergic urticaria. Cold-dependent dermocrivism, triggered by exposure to cold temperatures. Red dermocrivism, occurs secondary to rubbing of the skin instead of stroking. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.